but I've never seen the Ford Center like this. It is packed with USI fans, blue and red everywhere. In 2015, the Harrison Warriors ended an 18-year drought, capturing their sixth football sectional title in school history. As soon as Jackie Young announced that she was foregoing her senior season at Notre Dame and declaring for the WNBA draft, her name shot up the mock draft boards, and it is possible that she might go number one overall. Now, you came here in 1995. In the summer, though, so you just missed that national title. What would it mean to you, this community, to see the boys get it done? Alex, this is our second shot, which you explained to me, high risk, high reward. If you want to avoid the cold, come on out to the Ford Center, where it's nice, warm, and cozy. Plus, you get to see some OBC tournament action. Mac and Amanda, I've been outside. I've been inside. I've been in the concourse. This place is getting packed, and you can feel the excitement as the Eagles soar back home to Evansville for a chance to compete in the Elite Eight. The big game is finally here, USI against West Texas A&M. And to give you a little recap of what has happened so far, right grad Alex Stein started out on a 5-0 run, scoring nine of the first 11 points and 10 minutes into the game currently USI still leads 19 to 16. It has been nothing short of a whirlwind for the UE men's basketball team. As of 556 last night the Aces fired head coach Walter McCarty only to hire a brand new head coach at 930 in Todd Licklider. Licklider had his official press conference here at 430 at the Ford Center introducing him to the team and now he is already on the floor less than 24 hours after signing his contract to lead the Aces is what they hope will be their first conference win of the season. I'm here at Mount Vernon High School with Nick Burton, better known as Mr. Game Day, and I'm here to challenge him to a special edition of horse half court style. Go ahead, Game Day, take it away. He's good. <laughs> that was awesome. So, tell me, what made you want to do this? What made you want to perfect the half court shot? Well, when I was in sixth grade. Uh, I used to shoot threes all the time straight away and to be honest with you it got kind of easy and I want to step back my boundaries a little bit. Born with cerebral palsy so how hard was it growing up? It really wasn't difficult I mean I can do stuff like a normal person can it just takes me a little more time but I'm blessed to have friends around me and people to help me out through my life and you know it goes pretty good. <laughs> it clearly so, does. Cerebral palsy cannot be cured, but you don't let it affect you. Why do you continue to fight? Well, I continue to fight because about four years ago, I lost my mom to diabetes and heart problems, and I have a 100-year-old grandma at home that supports me, and I try. I live through my mom, and I, and I pray to my mom every night, and when I, before I go out on a halftime show, I talk to my mom, I call my grandma, let her know, and... You know, my mom's with me every time I do anything like this, so it, it's, it's a special place in my heart. And she's always with me. Over 200,000 kids are diagnosed with cerebral palsy every year. So tell me, what is your message to these kids when they see you out here performing? Well, you know, it, it would be, you know, to don't give up on your dreams because you have a disability. It, it just shows that you can do anything you set your mind to. Game day, I love the fight, man. Thank you so much for telling your story and being so inspiring. Also, thanks for running me out of your gym. I'll see if I can make this one really quick. Maybe. Not too bad, right? Say the best for last. All right, let's see it. This is the one. Warwick County becomes the second tri-state area to reach a double-digit death toll as four more residents at Signature Healthcare of Newburgh have passed away. Governor Bashir says he will not reopen the state just yet and for good reason, to save people's lives. Again, thank you so much for letting me hang out here. Thank, thank you for thank letting you. me interview you as well. And yeah, guys, you can come on down to Norm's Barbershop. He is busy. He's got about one, two, three, six guys waiting but he might be able to squeeze you in. Yeah, I am just outside of the Just Plus Just Chic Boutique store, and it's not just a big day for them, it's a big day for many small businesses across the state of Kentucky as retail stores can now open their doors but under strict guidelines. 
Davis County opened their testing site for another week due to the high demand of COVID-19 testing, but it will close down on Thursday. New research suggests more doctors need to promote healthy lifestyle changes to patients who have survived cancer. Oxycontin maker Purdue Pharma reached a tentative settlement with 23 states and 2,000 local governments related to the opiate crisis. And Trump says he has approved the release of U.S. strategic petroleum reserves if it's needed to stabilize energy markets. There is a hepatitis A outbreak in Hopkins County that has many people in the area on edge. The National African American Gun Association is growing into the largest minority gun group in the country. Stress during pregnancy may have lifelong impacts.